Okay, uh, welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. This car here is a Ford Ex Ford Explorer, Ford Escape. Uh, we have a problem with long cranking. So, first of all, we thought that it is the key problem. But if you notice here, when you open the ignition, it is not a key. But it have a long cranking when the car is cold. So we need to come into the system, look at the data, and the first thing we have to know that the car is 232,000 miles. This is Ford American. We need to check and be sure that it is not a cooling temperature sensor. Because if the cooling temperature sensor reading is not good, it's erratic, it will also cause that. Then the next thing is to check our fuel pressure. If this car have fuel pressure system that in the data, can show, if it can show us in the data that there is a fuel pressure system equipped okay diagnose I gotta go by control unit I only look at the engine computer because I don't want to diagnose the oil car. There is nothing for me to do. Read code if I have any code. Um, I just want to know if there is any memory codes. EVAP, EVAP leak detecting. This, this one will not affect the, the startability. So I'm gonna go to that. I just wanna know my cooling temperature sensor, how it is. Okay, here yeah, everything look okay. Acceleration also is look good. You see, good. So we have nothing with acceleration problem. Now I just want to know my throttle, electric power is good. Command throttle is okay. Crank fueling disabled. Okay, over. Head temperature sensor 32 is not bad. Cylinder head temperature is good. RPM is good. Just want to know this car, everything is good on it. Engine load, engine off sock time. This car, all the data is clean, my friend. Fuel level also is good. Fuel tank pressure is good too. Fuel pump. Fuel pump 75. It's good. This car, I don't see anything wrong on it. Oxygen sensor. Heated oxygen sensor bank one. Heated oxygen sensor, bank one, you see how it is? Yeah. It's supposed heat oxygen sensor, bank one sensor one, heat is on, but the voltage is like minus, but this will not affect its startability. You see, just now it come on. It's okay. Intake temperature is good. Was supposed to be minus 30 to 120, which is very normal. See here, minus 0 to 5, learn value, fuel trim, everything look okay. So, what I can say here, it, it probably your fuel pump pressure is losing pressure when you try to crank it, the pressure already low, you know, like the pressure is supposed to be like 50 and holding to 50. So when you try to start, the fuel pressure goes down to zero, 
by the time it pump to come it take you know like it delay the startability this is the only thing that i can say this is, could be the reason and that one you have a test we have to do it first like we have to leave the car we take the the fuel pump we start it we do the pressure we leave if it's hold the pressure it take from hour to three hours to look how long it take the pressure and hold it if the pressure go down like pressure is 50 psi or 70 psi is supposed to stay there all time as soon as you crank it just add into it it doesn't low but if the pressure if release the pressure you go back to the tank and the pressure go to 20 the car will not start you have to crank till the pressure build there is one thing you need to do like when you come in the morning do like this turn the cool on one time two time three time and see if it's gonna kick in. If it take longer, it could be two things. It could be the fuel pressure is not already primarily there, or it could be the engine itself is tired. You know, like sometimes the engine, 220,000 miles, is kind of, not like 150, not like 200. You got it? I tried to do that test, the three, the three, the three key tests. Yeah. But I didn't try it in the morning, so I'm gonna try it in the morning. Any time that you come after you stop one hour, two hour, and you, you see if you can do it two time, you know, like one time, two time, three time, see if it uh, build the, the 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 pressure. I think if I it, tried it; it was still taking long. Still but, taking. I, but I didn't do it in the morning. Well, I did it after. Like did you tune it up? This car? Twenty minutes? No. Did you put change the spark plug? No. All this. Uh, this also could be if, if the spark plug also are dairy and they don't have enough fire to fire it up, it may cause that. If, if the pressure is low and the engine also can do that. Those are the things that I can tell you. But right now I see everything here is good. Nothing that can say this is the cause of the the, the crank failure, long cranking. Uh, I, th I think it might be the fuel pump because I changed that in January and I used the aftermarket part from self show auto parts. When I heard I probably should have went to the dealer for that. Okay, we're gonna. Here's the only thing to know if the fuel pump is bad or not. To hook up a machine to see if the pressure, because every fuel, the fuel pump is just a pump, pumping gas. If he does, if he pump the gas and hold the pressure, okay. If he, if he release the pressure, definitely we have to replace it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the only thing that we have it here. So I'm not gonna do anything now. We're gonna leave you go. Let you go, then we can you can bring it tomorrow. We can put the fuel pressure gauge on it and start crank it and see what happens. Okay. I bet. Um, you, if it is a fuel pump, you recommend a dealer fuel pump. No, there is oh. a lot of fuel pump that we put them in the Mercedes Benz, BMW. They work fine after market. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the same brand selling in the dealer just tag the name on it. Uh huh. Sometimes them, some of them are not good, but believe me, a lot of them are good. I got you. Okay. You. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. I have my YouTube channel. You can subscribe, give me some uh, thumb up, and then we take it from there. I'm gonna put your car also on the page you see, and you can help. We can, maybe we get some people helping us with the result.